Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Good morning, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can everybody see the slide? No, ma'am. No. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma okay. Make sure to pin my screen. Syllabus, and then we'll go for the quiz. Workers, a farm should. Can everyone hear me? Buffering, ma'am. I don't know. Google Meet is a problem. I don't know why Google Meet is a problem. Ma'am, Google is a server. I'm going to download it. 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 What's going on? Better, ma'am. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, if you can't hear at all, make sure to tell me. I'll repeat it. So, we discussed um, how many workers a firm should be hiring. We looked at uh, that in the last class. We saw that a kind of marginal decision making hobby. The firm will compare between the marginal benefit of hiring a worker and the marginal cost of hiring a worker. The marginal cost is simply the wage paid to every worker and the wage is the market wage determined by the market demand curve for labor and the market supply curve of labor. And we're assuming it's a perfectly competitive labor market, which means that a firm cannot pay a higher or lower wage than whatever the equilibrium wage is in the market. And the worker cannot ask for a higher or lower wage. So which means the marginal cost is nothing but the wage paid to every individual worker. And the marginal benefit is the value of what every new worker can produce for the firm, which is nothing but the value of the marginal product of labor for them. What? Or as long as VMPL will keep hiring the workers. If your VMPL is less than the wage, we will not hire that worker. It will cost me money. America discussed curriculum. Then we looked at how changes in wages will result in a movement along the VMPL curve because the VMPL curve is also the demand for labor curve for an individual firm. And we know whenever the price of something changes, in this case, the wage of labor changes, quantity demanded for labor will increase or decrease. And we looked at the factors that can shift the labor demand curve, that is the VMPL curve. We looked at three different factors. One is the price of the uh, output uh, that the farm is producing. So if you're producing, for example, let's say pens, if the price of pen changes in the market, the VMPL will also change. Because factor of production, any resource has derived demand. Its demand comes from the product it is selling. So product market is the coronary change as it considered price change as way, it will have an impact on the demand for the factors of production that are needed to produce that product. So it's the same thing. If the price goes up, VMPL rises, demand shifts to the right. If the price goes down of the good you're producing, VMPL falls and the labor demand curve or the VMPL curve shifts to the left. Then we looked at changes in the supply of other factors of production, such as land and capital. So if you acquire more land or more machines or better technology, you, and if you give your workers more resources to work with, obviously their productivity will rise and therefore VMPL rises. The opposite happens if you take away resources from them. The productivity falls, that is MPL falls, and therefore VMPL falls. So that means when you have more resources available to work with as a worker, 
your demand will rise by, uh, from the firm, whereas your demand will fall if you're given less resources. And the last was technology. Technology, it can go either way. It ultimately depends on the type of good we are looking at. So if technology is not replacing the human being, then this technology will make the human being, the worker, much more productive and faster. Uh, will make them make less mistakes. So their demand will actually rise in that case. This is what we discussed in the last class, actually. Shall I Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Now, there was one small thing on the demand side, which is how. The individual, individual you have the market demand curve for a product is the same case for the labor market, where if you add the individual labor demand curve for each firms, for all the firms, each firm will have its individual labor demand curve. That is the VMPL curve. When you add it for a wage rate, so this is the labor demand curve, the VMPL curve, let's say for firm A, this is the labor demand curve, also the VMPL curve for Form B and so on. If you add them at a specific wage rate, it will give you the quantity of labor demanded at that wage rate in the overall market. That's how the labor demand curve in the market is being determined. So it are just like goods market. Individual demand curve ke kole, market demand curve. Pai. This was basically the demand side of the story. Now we need to focus a little bit on the supply side. Supply side is quite interesting. Because first we need to look at the, we looked at the individual labor demand curve, that is at the farm is demand curve for labor. Now we're going to look at the individual labor supply curve. So people who are working, people like me, or if anyone who is working among you, each of us will have a supply curve. Basically, the act of specific wage, how many hours that we are willing and able to work? What is the quantity of labor that I am willing and able to supply in the market? All of us who are going to be working, potential workers, will have our individual labor supply curve. And we're going to look and see that the individual labor supply curve is, has a very unique shape. It does not look like your typical supply curve. So before I go into the shape, I need to see how actually this individual labor supply curve has been determined. So it shows that at a specific wage, what is the quantity of labor that me, one worker, will be willing and able to supply? Generally, uh, we uh, calculate our labor in terms of the hours I'm willing to supply in the labor market, willing to supply to work. So it ultimately has to do with how I divide my time. I have 24 hours in a day. What do I do with those 24 hours? There are two things that I can do. Very broadly, these are very broad terms. There are two things I can do. One is I can work. I can supply labor. And the other is I can not work, do anything other than supplying labor, anything that does not help me earn a wage. So Shadhanto Itajanam like the broad umbrella term use query, which is known as leisure. Any other activity, anything else other than working, it will be considered as leisure because that does not help you earn a wage. So it could be like actual leisurely things that we associate with leisure, such as watching a movie, going out, for dinners, going out with your friends, going on vacations. It could also include working at home, like not for money, such as doing the dishes, washing your clothes, cleaning your room. Because it doesn't give us any recreational value, not everyone, for some of us. But as long as it's not earning you a wage, it will be considered as leisure. Anything other than working will be considered as leisure. So 24 hours in a day, we can divide it into two broad activities. One is supplying labor in the workplace, supplying labor in the labor market that is actually working in order to receive a wage. And the other is doing other activities like leisure activities. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now we have a very big assumption, which is you can decide how many hours you want to work each day. For example, today I may work two hours, tomorrow I may work eight hours, the next day I may work four hours. So this is a big assumption to make the model quite simple. Uh, in reality, obviously, you don't have so much flexibility. Um, generally, people sh should be working at least, unless you are a part-time worker, if you're a full-time worker, generally people tend to work from nine to five. Obviously, we work much more than that but that's the average amount of hours an individual usually works. But 
Ekane, we are assuming that if you want one day, you can also work 20 hours a day, but that's not the reality. This is just an assumption. Make sure to remember that. That we have flexibility, we have control over how many hours we want to work, how many hours we want to supply in the labor market. Akun, ultimately, how do I decide if I, if I should spend one hour on working or one hour on leisure activities? Again, marginal analysis. We are comparing between the marginal benefit of working one more hour versus the marginal cost of working one more hour. If I work one more hour, what is the benefit I will receive from working? I'm going to supply the labor market. Should I take a return benefit? Extra wages. The wages, right? So if I, let's say my wage is 100 taka per hour, if I work one more hour, I am going to get 100 taka wages. So that means I, I can buy 100 taka worth of goods and services, right? If I work one more hour. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm going to take my extra taka wage extra or earn. I can earn 100 more taka. That means I can buy 100 taka worth of goods and services by working one more hour. Whereas if I don't work one hour, the cost is this. This is my opportunity cost day. I will be able to afford the goods and services that with that hundred taka. But I'm just one hour catch kurchina. What am I doing in its place? What do I do instead? So I will be doing enjoying some leisure activities. So that's the trade-off. You're comparing between working one hour versus spending one hour on leisure activities. If you work one hour, what is your opportunity cost? What do you have to sacrifice if you work one more hour? I'm going to work now. What time? Where are we going? What time? Ma'am, leisure time. Leisure time. Absolutely. So if I work one hour every time I work, what am I sacrificing in its place? The leisure activity that I could have done. Maybe I could have watched a movie. I could have um, ironed my clothes and so on. So that means your opportunity cost of working is the leisure activity. But basically, or more specifically, the utility, the marginal utility you could have enjoyed from that one hour of leisure activity. Whereas if you spend one hour on leisure activity, like watching a movie, what are you sacrificing? What is your opportunity cost? extra wages so the one hour wages that you're losing the wages that could have helped you buy other goods and services so the marginal utility from those goods and services we can have a key compare could you are comparing between the utility i receive from enjoying leisure time with the utility i could i receive from the goods and services i can buy with those wages i am extra catch kurbo i am sacrificing every time i'm working every hour i'm working i'm sacrificing leisure activities I'm sacrificing or foregoing or basically losing the utility I could have enjoyed from those leisure activities. Whereas every hour I don't work, that means I'm enjoying leisure activities. I'm actually sacrificing the wage I could have earned. More specifically, I am sacrificing or not experiencing or not enjoying the utility I could have from the goods and services that I would have bought with that wage. I'm just going to leisure activities spend puri tar so this is the trade-off between working and spending time on leisure activities. That's how we are comparing. Whichever is more important for you, that's the one you're going to choose. If your opportunity, if your utility from leisure is much higher than the utility you could have earned, you could have experienced from the goods and services bought with those wages, you're going to go for leisure activities. Or the opposite, if the utility uh, that you gain from the wages and the goods and services bought with those wages are higher than your leisure activity, you would work one more hour. trade off Yes, ma'am. Okay, now I'm asking you, tell me, what happens when the wage rate goes up? As a worker, I'm going to supply labor. I'm going to supply quantity of hours in the labor market. Now, what will happen? What will I do if the wage rate, that is per hour, market what will I do now?
I'm being paid more wage than before. What should I do now? I will work more. And work more for that. Okay. Suppose your wage rate doubles. So some of you are saying you will work more. Why? Because if you don't work, what are you losing? What is the opportunity cost? Suppose my wage rate initially, let's say my old wage rate is, let's say, $40, $40 per hour. So every time, every hour I don't work, what is happening to my opportunity cost? I'm losing more money, twice the amount of money I did than before. Yes, ma'am. So I would have basically sacrificed $20 every hour. Now, because my wage rate has increased, it has doubled. Every time I don't work, that is going to cost me $40. Our opportunity cost has increased, right? Yes, ma'am. So that gives yes. me an incentive to work more. I will supply more hours in the labor market. So this effect, this effect of an increase in wage or a change in wage to your quantity of labor supplied is known as the substitution effect. This means that you are substituting work in place of leisure. I'm substituting work in place of leisure. This is known as a substitution effect. Because your opportunity cost of not working has increased due to an increase in wage, you are going to supply more labor hours, supply more uh, labor in the labor market and consume less leisure. You're going to spend more time on working and less time on leisure activities. What are you doing? You're substituting between the two, work and leisure. Akon leisure is jagay, I work ke actually substitute kochi. This is because the opportunity cost of not working has increased. When you're supplying more labor hours, more labor in the market, quantity of uh, labor has increased in the market. That is known as a substitution effect because you are substituting work in place of leisure. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So everyone has answered that we will work more. Won't we also work less? Amar to wage double hoye chhe. Amar age eight ghontai jodi tu ko taka ami earn korte partam. Ami same taka the four ghontai earn korte parbo na. Do I need to work eight hours now? No, ma'am. No. So one effect is substitution effect. That yes, when my wage rises, my opportunity cost of not working increases. Which means now I'm going to prefer working over leisure activities. I lose more money every hour I don't work. So that will make me, encourage me. $20 That's a substitution effect. But now, because my wage has increased, it has doubled in this example. I need to work half the time I would have previously to earn the same income. Again, I mean, if I work, let's yes. say five hours, yes. if I work five hours, now I'll be earning $200. So should I be working more or less according to this idea, logic? Reason ta ki? Reason is age leisure ta. Leisure is a normal good. Going on vacations, going out to eat, um, or uh, watching movies, these are all normal. Goods. Amade income barle ki normal good demand barbe na? Income normal good demand So leisure, leisure activities such as going to watch a movie, going on vacations, going out to eat, these are all in normal goods, right? Amar income bade, dinner 
তত বেশি আমি ভেকেশনে যাই তত বেশি আমি মুভি দেখতে যাই রাইট ইয়েস ম্যাম ইয়েস সো বিকজ উই আর সে Late makes you feel richer. So if you still work eight hours, if you work seven hours, if you work six hours, you're still earning more than before. Even by working less, you are able to earn more. You're richer. You have more income than before. And because of a higher income, your demand for leisure activities increases. Which means because of the higher income, you're supplying less labor in the market now. You're working fewer hours. Why? Because you, instead of working those hours, you are spending those time, that time in leisure activities, like going on vacations, going out to eat. Because leisure is a normal good, your demand for that normal good rises due to an increase in the wage rate, due to an increase in the income you have. Eta ki bola hoi? Income effect. When there's a change in the wage rate and it causes you to work less and spend more time on leisure why because here your wage has increased therefore have a higher income than before by working less i can still earn a higher income by working less i can still earn the same income and because my income has increased this will cause me to demand more leisure activities this will want make me spend more time on leisure activities which means this income effect is telling me due to a rise in the wage i will supply less labor in the labor market and spend more time on leisure activities consume more leisure activities eta ki shobai bujhte parche income effect ta ki bujha jacche yes ma ek bar bolo okay first first eta bujhechi shobai substitution effect wage barle i will work more straight forward is that income effect is telling you your wage has increased age ami 8 ghonta kaj kore koto tuku taka earn korte partam at 20 dollars by working 8 hours i could have earned 160 dollars right yes ma'am before okay now by working let's say 7 hours now with the new wage how much can i earn 280 dollar i can earn 280 dollars this is at 7 hours ami ek ghonta kom kaj koreo ki age theke beshi income earn korchi na yes ma'am yes ma'am so because i know every hour i work i earn twice the amount of money so this time ami 4 ghonta kaj koreo আমার ইনকাম বেড়েছে ডিমান্ড ফর লেজার অ্যাক্টিভিটি হ্যাজ ইনক্রিজ বিকজ লেজার ইজ আ নরমাল গুড ভেকেশনস ইটিং আউট দিজ আর অল নরমাল গুডস ইনকাম বাড়লে তার ডিমান্ড বেড়ে যাবে সো বিকজ আই এম স্পেন্ডিং মোর টাইম অন লেজার অ্যাক্টিভিটিস আই এম স্পেন্ডিং লেস লেস টাইম ওয়ার্কিং দ্যাট ইজ দ্য ইনকাম ইফেক্ট যে বিকজ মাই ইনকাম হ্যাজ ইনক্রিজ ডিউ টু আ রাইজ ইন দ্য ওয়েজ আই উইল ওয়ার্ক লেস আওয়ার্স ক্যান স্পেন্ড মোর টাইম অন লেজার অ্যাক্টিভিটিস এখন বোঝা যাচ্ছে यस मैम ওকে এখানে দুইটা জিনিস হচ্ছে না देयर टू दीस इफेक्ट्स आर वर्किंग इन टू অপোজিট ডাইরেকশনস রাইট দুইটাই কিন্তু ওয়েজ বাড়ার কারণে আমি দেখেছি ওয়েজ বাড়ার কারণে ওয়ান ইজ কজিং ইউ টু ওয়ার্ক মোর এন্ড দি अदर ইজ কজিং ইউ টু ওয়ার্ক লেস দিস ইজ দ্য ইফেক্ট অফ দ্য ইনক্রিজ ইন ওয়েজ when wage is increasing in one side you are going to work more because of substitution effect on the other side you're going to work less because of the income effect So what is it doing? Amra jokhon amader ei je labor supply curve ta ke draw korbo individual labor supply curve we're going to look it has a very unique shape. What is this shape? This shape. This basically bends backward. This is known as a backward bending individual labor supply curve. Let's look at a specific examples with number. Here this is a person called Jill. It has a Jill's individual labor supply curve. 
all of us everyone things of individual or supply in the market shona jacche na ma'am shona jacchilo na kotha kete jay acha what's the last thing you heard ma'am all of us no my question was no all of us is just like two words how can is the backward blending eta eta sommote bolechilen tar pore kotha kete jay acha thik ache so i was saying je because of these two effects is a substitution effect and the income effect substitution effect causes you to work more and consume less leisure and income effect causes you to consume more leisure and work less hours this is when wage increases age it ki hocche dui ta direction je it is causing your labor supply to move right ek dikhe you are working more i dikhe work you are working less je bujha jacche yes ma'am okay because of this an individual like for example my labor supply curve or your labor supply curve individual labor supply curve will have this unique shape a shape ta ki bola hoy a backward bending individual labor supply curve it basically bends backward after a point this is because of the two effects of changes in wage we just looked at so this example is for a, for a specific person jil jil er individual labor supply curve hocche eta मैंने একটা डिफरेंट রিজার্ভেশন ওয়েজ হতে পারে ফর সাম ওয়ার্কার্স ইট মে বি দ্যাট দ্যাট ইজ প্রবাবলি ইন্টার্নশিপ হতে পারে মে বি সামওয়ান হু হ্যাজ নো এক্সপেরিয়েন্স ওয়ান্টস টু গেইন আ লিটল বিট এক্সপেরিয়েন্স তাহলে তার ইন্ডিভিজুয়াল লেবার সাপ্লাই কার এখান থেকে স্টার্ট হবে জিরো থেকে ফর সামওয়ান ইট মে বি 10 ডলারস ফর সামওয়ান মে ইট মে বি 20 ডলারস সো ইচ অফ আস মে হ্যাভ আ डिफरेंट রিজার্ভেশন ওয়েজ মিনিমাম ওয়েজ অ্যাট হুইচ উই আর উইলিং এন্ড এবল টু ওয়ার্ক but generally more or less the shape of the individual labor supply curve will look like this it will just start at a different point but the shape will more or less look like this due to the income effect and the substitution effect sunte parchi shobai yes ma'am okay yes ma'am so let's look at what happens as wage increases on the vertical axis we have wage rate that is usually the price of the good or services on the vertical axis here you have labor labor at price which wage the vertical axis is there and on the horizontal axis you have the quantity of labor that is number of hours that an individual is supplying in the market ekhane hocche per week day dekhacche eta so her individual labor supply curve starts at 5 because that's the minimum wage below which she will not work can you see that from 5 dollars up to 25 dollars as wage increases 5 6 7 it 10 15 20 up to 25 dollars as the wage increases do you see the quantity of hours she is supplying in the labor market is also increasing yes ma'am it ki rakha jacche okay so for example when wage increases from 5 to 10 dollars her quantity supplied increases of number of hours she is working in the labor market a week increases from 0 to 30 hours then when it increases from 10 to let's say 15 it increases from 30 to let's say 35 hours ki hocche joto wage barche every hour up to 25 dollars she is supplying more hours in the labor market she is working more right yes ma'am so when the wage yes. is let's say 25 dollars per hour she is willing and able to work 40 hours a week now what happens to the quantity supplied in the labor market wage aro barlo let's say the wage is wage is now let's say 30 dollars ekhon ki holo quantity of labor hours increase na decrease decrease it is decreasing let me raise all of this let's say now the wage is 30 dollars quantity supplied would be let's say 38 
hours. Ki holo? Wage bere gallo, but what happened to the number of hours I'm working? Jill is working now. It has decreased, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Or when the wages, let's say, increases to thirty-five dollars, so that would be let's say thirty-three hours. It further decreases. So what's happening? Up to a certain wage rate, as wage increases, let's say from five to twenty-five dollars. The substitution effect is stronger than the income effect. SE hoche substitution effect, IE hoche income effect. And because the substitution effect is stronger, it is causing you to work more due to a rise in the wage. You're supplying more hours in the labor market. That's why as wage increases from $5 up to $25, what happens? Your supply curve, labor, individual labor supply curve increases. Yes, ma'am. So this portion is upward sloping. Why? Because the substitution effect, which is causing you to work more, is stronger than the income effect. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, yes, add twenty-five dollars per hour is very high. It's high enough, which means that any more than that is not going to encourage you to work more. Why? Because now the income effect is stronger than the substitution effect. Because you have reached a point in your wage rate where it is high enough and you know you can have a comfortable life, you don't need to work more, actually. I mean, I same income earn I do not need to work more. Because now, per hour wage rate is very high. I have a comfortable wage rate right now. I, need, I don't need to work as much as I, I did before. So, because any wage above $25, is going to cause you to work less and spend more time on leisure activities, consume more leisure activities. What's happening? The supply curve starts bending backwards. You're going to supply or work fewer hours and enjoy more time, give more time to leisure activities. Why? Because at any wage higher than 25, that means your income effect is stronger than the substitution effect. That means as the income effect is stronger, you would spend more time on consuming leisure goods and services and less time working. So this portion is due to the fact that income effect is stronger than the substitution effect. Yes, is everyone able to follow this? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this is how generally how we human beings behave, especially throughout the course of our lifetime as workers. Generally, when we are younger, up to a certain point, we tend to supply more hours in the labor market. We tend to work more and more because we get to earn more and more. But after a point when you are experienced enough, when you have already reached a position um, in your employment where your wages, your income is high enough, you really don't work like 10 hours or 12 hours as you did before. That's how we behave actually as human beings. Um, the salaries are increment for the point into increment for it. I'm going to get to do extra catch with them. I cannot put in because we have reached that that right amount of salary, which doesn't make it doesn't require us to work so much. Is this clear? It is shaped like you are Yes, ma'am. OK, so this is your individual labor supply curve. So this is known as a backward bending individual labor supply curve, which means that up to certain wages, your quantity of labor supplied in the market will rise. But after that, if wage rises, it will actually fall. Quantity of labor supplied will fall. So it will have an upward sloping portion, and then it will have a downward sloping portion. We have market supply curve. Again, market supply curve, which is individual labor supply curve take camera derived code we add them but the difference between the individual labor supply curve and the market is that in market you have your wage rate on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis you have quantity of workers not hours because i'm not dictated that at the specific wage how many workers you are willing and able to work market overall market hours calculate basically how much is the quantity supplied of worker and generally, your market supply curve for labor is also upward sloping. At to higher wage to the offer for a high at a specific industry, day, more people, more workers would be willing and able to work. Quantity supplied will rise. 
Whereas if the wage decreases, less workers would be willing and able to work. For example, if you look at the teaching industry, if you see that teachers are now being paid a higher wage, a higher salary, more people would be willing and able to work in this industry. So quantity supply will rise. The opposite will happen if the wage falls. So the market labor supply curve basically is showing you that at a specific wage rate, what is the quantity of workers that are willing and able to work, willing and able to supply their labor hours. Can everyone hear me? Miss Ayaga, we bit quite a bit. Can you tell me what you want Miss, a diagram. This is just showing you that the labor supply curve, even though your individual labor supply curve is, is the, looks like this, it has this shape, market labor supply curve usually looks like your, it usually looks like your typical supply curve. That is your upward sloping supply curve which is telling you market supply curve is telling you the relationship between the wage rate and the quantity, the number of workers willing and able to work at that wage rate. Whereas individual labor supply curve is showing you the relationship between the wage rate and the number of hours a worker is willing and able to supply at that wage rate. Market pay is the number of workers they are measure. Obviously, at a market, you can't measure with number of hours. It doesn't make any sense. So this upward sloping market labor supply curve is showing you that if wage rate increases, more people would be willing and able to work. You tell me at a specific industry, they do the wage barajai. Are Beshi Manush encouraged Havana to work in that industry? Yes, ma'am. So that means an increase in wage rate will cause an upward movement on the labor supply curve. Whereas if the wage rate falls, the quantity supplied of workers, the number of workers who are willing and able to work will also fall. Law of supply. Is this clear now? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you're welcome. Last thing is what causes shifts in the labor supply curve? We looked at the shifts of the labor demand curve. We are going to look at the shifts of the labor supply curve. So there are many factors. These are some of the common factors. The first being changes in the preferences and social norms. Basically, it is telling you that changes in the society, people's attitude towards certain work, certain work types of workers, certain industry, over time it has changed. And due to this, it has increased and in some industries it has decreased. If you think about women 30, 40 years ago, Thirty, forty years ago, X amount of women were working in this country throughout the world. After now, currently, are there more women working or less women working? More. 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 Definitely more women. There are more women in the labor force than they were 5, 10, 20, 30, 40 years ago. Not just in Bangladesh, throughout the world. Reason is because people's society's view towards women working has changed. Before, it wasn't something that people, many people were okay with. Now, they are actually. More women have the opportunity to work. Which means that what, ha what is happening in the labor supply is because society's view has changed. More women means more people can work. That means more labor is being supplied. Yes, ma'am. So let's say this is my supply curve. This is my quantity of workers in a specific industry. So let's say, uh, I don't know, journalism. Let's say news industry. So. Aki wage, kakon aro beshi manush kach kurbe. Nishche, there has to be another factor. Ekaneki dakati. It's a shift. That means at the same wage, when would more people be willing and able to work or less people may be willing and able to work? At the same wage, when the supply curve shifts to the right or shifts to the left. One of the reasons is people's views. So the way society works has changed. This time it has changed in favor of women. 
more women are willing and able to work wage rate hoyto kono change ashini eta to esheche but amra dhore nei change ashini tao kintu more women are willing and able to work reason is the society has changed in favor of women working one could be they are being provided more education than before they are given more access to education the other could be their family is being more supportive their husbands or their family members are helping them to share the work at home the other could be there's technological progress helping women save time to do household work like ovens and stoves and washing machines and so on age grame jokhon ranna hoto ekhono hoy but khubi kom jagay mati chulay ranna hoto it takes a lot of time but now she same grame eki manush kintu ekhon amader je stove modern stove e ranna korche it takes less time so that means it's freeing up time for them to work therefore supply labor hours in the market so even at the same wage due to changes in the society's views there are more women working which automatically means there are more workers in the labor market supply has increased if you think about different types of industries if you think about let's say the acting or modeling industry ekhono it has a lot to change but 10 20 years ago there is a specific type of people who could only be working as models or actors you need to look, have a certain height look a certain way ekhon kintu there is a lot of diversity there is a lot of inclusivity right abe ki shunte parche yes ma'am yes ma'am so nowadays in the modeling industry or the acting industry you won't only see really tall skinny people there are many types of people people who look very different than what we are used to seeing uh, on the movies on on tv because there's a lot of inclusivity lots of diversity people of different races different religions different heights and different shapes and sizes are now working reason is society's view of what beauty is has changed actually so that means there is more supply in those markets eti ki bujha jacche yes ma'am okay the next one is changes in the population more specifically working population obviously a higher population means at the same wage the supply of workers will rise more workers are willing and able to work a lower population means that even though wage rate has not changed supply of workers is falling because there are fewer people willing and able to work wage er karone kintu hoy ni so can a population change hote pare many reasons it could be immigration policies for example if bangladesh Uh, makes it very easy for foreign workers to enter and get work permits and work in our country amader country te ki labor supply barbe naki kome jabe barbe bere jabe because it's government er kono ekta policy er karone foreign policy change hoyeche immigration policy is easier if you think about let's say it makes it ekhon suppose due to the current situation many countries are imposing very strict immigration policies it's very difficult to enter those countries as well as basically work there get a work permit tahole shekhane ki labor supply kome jabe if you think about brexit ekhon brexit howar karone ki hobe uk te age onno european countries e je manush gula eshe kaaj korte parto tara kintu ekhon eto easily ar parbe na right yes ma'am Yes, so which means due to brexit definitely their labor supply will decrease other factors could be ekta to bolechi migration seta hote pare between cities as well amader dhaka te jodi onno city theke manush ashe for work the is in those cities so due to migration hote pare then it could be death rate especially in today's time it is very relevant if many people are dying in today's uh, time is due to a pandemic there would be a lower supply of labor in that market aki wage rate less people are willing and able to work because there are less people if you think about like new york and other like italian cities where lots of thousands of people died every single day obviously the labor supply comes in birth rate ka uh birth rate is it tells you how many basically live children are being born out of every 1000 every single day birth rate ta hocche immediately labor supply ke barabe na because obviously tum jonmer sathe sathe kaaj kora shuru korbe na that doesn't make any sense so this birth rate has a long term effect after 15 or 16 years when you have the working age that's when your labor supply actually rises if today the birth rate goes up in this year it will have an impact 15 16 years later supply bere jabe eti ki bujha jacche Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. 
then changes in opportunities changes in opportunities bolte bujhatche different types of industries that are opening up when there are new and more variety of business sectors uh, working or employment opportunities new and different types of firms that are opening up obviously there are more jobs more types of work and more jobs that are available now if you think about let's say the fitness industry over the 5 10 years in bangladesh more people are moving towards becoming fit and healthier which is causing more gyms to open up more trainers to actually get work that means asia market ki hoche labor supply bereche right yes ma'am reason ki opportunity create hoche khane for working if you think about the food industry over the last few years dhaka te especially the food industry has grown a lot many many different types of cuisines are available now starting from japanese to korean to indian kichhui baad nahi ekhon so that has created more job opportunities more employment that means in those industries more people are willing and able to work their supply of workers has increased think about part time jobs and internships 15 20 30 years ago shohoje shobai ke part time jobs korte dekha jeto na ekhon kintu on easily dekha jay all of those people you see working um in hotels in uh, basically uh, supermarkets they are most of the time students who are doing part time jobs because there has been an opportunity created in those industries internship lots of foreign firms have set up uh, in bangladesh creating more internship opportunities so when newer opportunities are opening up new businesses are being created that creates more jobs and more employment which means the supply of labor rises in those market but hote pare onno market theke workers ta shift kore asche maybe fitness industry the jara asche they were working in a different industry before and they have moved to the fitness industry because of this new opportunity if that is the case it will increase the labor supply in the fitness industry but decrease the labor supply in that other industry eta ki bujha jacche yes ma'am yes ma'am okay yes ma'am can you give me examples of certain industries if you think about bangladesh je notun industry ekhon khub ie pacche bangladesh e notun jobs create hocche think about different types of firms and businesses that have opened up in bangladesh think about the world ma'am courier service hote pare yes delivery that's one way if you think about like food delivery is one then other types of delivery like pathao and all that mm -hmm. then train transport service online online okay yes that's one thing yeah, there is a new thing that has been uh, basically introduced in our transportation system that is creating more jobs then think about social media social media more opportunities now youtube and instagram and so on lots of people doing businesses there marketing 20 30 years ago digital marketing bolte kichu chilo na actually is it making sense changes in opportunities blog yes ma'am kora ki pora blog kora youtube er jonno blog yeah blogging like youtube social media right blogging is one thing there are many different businesses people are becoming millionaires by making videos in youtube okay the last one is the changes in your wealth wealth is basically something you accumulate over time so is a property jewelry uh, then uh, buildings all of these this count as wealth if you own a house if you have some gold jewelry if you have some let's say shares if you have bought some shares in the share market this is this will be included in wealth it's not the same thing as your income income is you work at the end of the month you earn something so income is a part of wealth wealth inclu includes many other things it includes your assets as well so jokhon wealth e kono change ashe it basically makes us work either more or less than before it has nothing to do with, with, with the wage rate so for example let's say your wealth has increased maybe there has been a basically share market ekta onek boro ekta positive ekta boom esheche that means the shares that you own are more valuable than before or maybe there is a real estate boom the house you own is more valuable than before if your wealth increases will you work more or work less than before your wealth has increased you're richer you're more rich what will you work do less. you'll work less actually generally that's how we behave reason is 
if the value of my wealth has increased, for example, the shares, if my shares are more valuable than before, I mean, if I sell it, I mean, I can do more income earn. Korte parbo. So that means when you become richer, or at least you feel rich because the value of your wealth, your assets has increased, maybe the value of gold has gone up. So your jewelry is much more valuable than before. That means you have a higher wealth. And that means you have more protection against losing your job. I have a good backup plan in terms of my wealth, which means I'm going to come a catch for not a problem. I have this backup plan. I have this cushion. I have the safety net of higher wealth to protect me. So generally, if wealth increases, you tend to feel rich, which means your demand for leisure activities goes up. And therefore, because you're spending more time on leisure, you spend less time working. So that means the labor supply curve shifts to the right when your wealth rises for those workers. Whereas when your wealth decreases, obviously you feel poorer, you feel like you have less backup money, you have less, basically, you don't have a safety net as before. Uh, if there is a change, if you don't work as much, it will affect you more. So therefore, if your wealth decreases, you're going to supply <coughs> more labor in the market. So there will be a rightward shift in the labor supply curve when your wealth decreases. You will consume less leisure because you don't have as much money as before or at least you're not as rich as before, your demand for the normal good will fall, which means that time that you could have spent in leisure will be spent working. Wealth barley labor supply curve will shift to the left, or wealth komegele labor supply curve will shift to the right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Any questions here in this topic? No, ma'am. So we are done with our final syllabus. Now I wanted to ask you something. Sunday te karo pachta te ke shari shatra mundi class ache. Sundays. No ma'am. Yes ma'am. Quite ten. What did I say? What did I ask? I'm a time te ki digi shakur Pachta te ke shari shatra. You said 1.30 to 3. Sorry, sorry, Miss. Miss, I'd say. Miss, I have time fix the accounting faculty class. Miss, no, which Sunday? I'm going to go to the next Sunday. Miss, I'm going to go to the next Sunday. So, I'm going to go to the next Sunday. Okay, Miss. 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 No, three days ago, no, two Sundays, no, two Sundays. Because our day is to extend. Semester. I mean, I was thinking 31st day, Jagai, Sunday day, exam day, two days before. That's why I was asking. Yes, ma'am. So because I need to take the exam of both the sections together, so it has to be at not class time. So Sunday, it would be 31st day, Jagai. It would be what? So I would take it somewhere between 5 to 7.30 p.m. Or if everyone agrees later than that. Yes, ma'am. I have to talk with the other section as well. So I have to talk with the other section as well. So I have to talk with the other section as well. So you're the only one. You're the only one. You're the only one. You're the only one. No, ma'am, no. Acha. So, Marian, you are the one, right? Nikki, I'm, I'm next answer, ma'am. Ma'am, next, do you send it to the class, sir? Quite, quite. Chatta Cholish, thay ke. Chatta Cholish, thay ke? Chatta Cholish, thay ke? Chatta Bish, pojun, to, right? Ji, ma'am. Acha. And, are you going Nancy? Nancy does, right? No, ma'am. Who asked me? Ma'am, Zeba Faria. Okay, bolo. Tomar... कौन सर के ताले ईमेल करो और जिगिशा करो जे आमा एक एग्जाम होते पारे तीन तरीके आमा के टाइम तक अखुन जाने ले मिस डेट टाइम फिक्स कर बे मिस एक्चुअली उन्हें दूसरे संडे जोनो दिया चला ताले उन्हें शाताश तरीके ए संडे ते क्लास नहीं ला मैं तो अखुन उन्हें शते कथा बोले नहीं पो तुम्हें अखुन ईमेल करते की प्रॉब्लम 
মিস অ্যাকচুয়ালি স্যার মানে ইমেল এর রিপ্লাই দিতে অনেক সময় লেট হয়ে যায় তো উনি নিজে বলে যে গুগল ক্লাসরুমে হয়তো क्वेश्चनটা লিখে দাও নালে পরে ক্লাসে বল তুমি ইমেল করে রাখো 27 তারিখের মধ্যে তো তুমি ইউ हैव এনাফ টাইম देयर नो पॉइंट इन वेटिंग टिल 27 তারিখ টু টক টু हिम ইফ ইট ইজ ইমেল নাও আই ডোন্ট গেট व्हाट द प्रॉब्लम इज इफ यू ইমেল हिम ইমেলে বলবা যে আমাকে একটু টাইমটা জানাতে because miss has to set a time for the final exam okay miss i'll do that okay acha ar arek jone hocche 4:40 theke 6:20 right ji ma'am acha so acha tomar ta jani ar baki karo to ni so ami to late e dilo karo problem ache no ma'am like after 7 if other class thake no ma'am Okay, so let me confirm Corinne with the other section, and then I will after I get a confirmation on her status with her class and the other section, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay, ma'am. See you guys. So for now, study like it's the thirty-first exam because I mean, you just have to be hundred percent sure. Now, shabat tamar shune decide kuto be. Acha. Karo kono question achi kani? No, ma'am. No, ma'am.